an intrepid viewer to the dark part of the wind. Seamus, what are you doing? I can't hear you. What are you doing? I can't hear you because I'm making a cup of tea. You're doing the show. I'm sweating. I know I'm sweating. You can make your cup as well. I've, I've got beer. Can you just turn it off, please? Anyway, welcome to Seamus and Alexander's House of Whipcorn. Today, we are talking cryptids. We're also going to be reviewing Nick Vertigo's eagerly anticipated bitch slasher mine. Uh, and then we're going to be um, taking your calls. So, um, the big news in Withering this week is the big dick story. Anyway, so um, you've probably all seen this. An old lady had just finished doing her shopping when she saw a big ape-like creature leering at her from behind some bushes down at the Rubicon Woods. The woman said it was hairy all over and had a very large member. The newspapers are calling it Big Dick. Seamus, what are you doing? I'm doing an artist's impression of Big Dick. See, there's you, there's me, I've got a bell end. It's lovely, but um, I don't think his dick is that big. It's big dick. How big is big? How bent is bent? How plant is plant? I doubt it's bigger than its entire body, though. How would it stand up? It would just topple over forwards. So anyway, we went down to the Rubicon Woods to investigate this mystery, and we brought back some pretty shocking footage. Check it out. Oh yeah, that was the wrong tape. Um, I don't know what that was. What was that? I, I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, anyway, this is the right tape. Enjoy. Hey everybody, uh, this is today's Witherling Chronicle. As you can see, there was a big dick sighting right here in the Rubicon Woods yesterday. Uh, that's the old bat who saw it and uh, it's what it looked like, apparently. Terrifying. I wonder if Big Dick's seen Bitch Slasher 5. Ooh, I doubt it. I reckon he'd have trouble getting a video rental card. He could just watch it through someone's window. Like you do. I think Big Dick probably prefers nature documentaries. Weirdo. Over there, imbeciles! On the ground! Look! Incredible! It's a Big Dick! That was a big dick, and he sounded like he's pretty close. There he is! I'll get him! You fucking imbecile! Well, that seals the deal, I reckon. Big dick deniers, come and try this on for size. Yeah, you cowardly bastards! I'll drive you straight through ya! It's Dirty Goat Clock, and that can only mean one thing. It's time for today's movie review. Seamus, what is today's movie? You know what it is, so why are you asking? That's right, it's Nick Vertigo's Bitch Slasher 5. We've been waiting for this for a long time at House of Whipcord, ever since the brutal majesty of Bitch Slasher 3 and the much maligned Bitch Slasher 4. Finally, it's time for the fifth part of the Bitch Slasher franchise. Sixth part. What? Bitch Slasher 5 is the sixth part of the Bitch Slasher franchise. He goes, Bitch Slasher, then Bitch Slasher 1, then Bitch Slasher 2 is the third film. Therein lies the genius of Nick Vertigo. All hail the Vertigod. All hail the Vertigod! Wait. When did 
Where did you get the tape from? It's not even been released yet. Same place I got the sleeve. Um, look at that. Majestic. That, that is pretty majestic. Did you break into his house again? I did, yes. I had, um, I got these as well. Look at that. Bertie shit. Real Bertie shit. Bertie shit. Bertie shit. Incredible. Oh. Anyway. Here it is, guys. Bitch slash a five. Pretty sure this is a world exclusive. Here we go. Enjoy. She was nothing to me. You know I just can't resist married women. What do you mean I'm going to hell? How can there be a hell if there's no God? Oh, come on, baby. Let's go out and have some fun spending all that disposable income we've got because we've not got kids. Hello? Do you have a minute to speak about Jesus? Yes, please come in. Sorry about the mess, I was just slashing a bit. Oh, we see that a lot. Help me! Would you like a leaflet? Ooh, it's a bit chilly in here. Mind if I close the window? Which denomination did you say you were from again? I'm a Catholic. We're all brothers in Christ. I'm a Protestant. Yes! Nick Vertigo slams it out the park with another cast iron classic. I put this in my top three bitch slash of them. Oh, definitely. I like the part where he killed the woman. I've got a quote here from the latest issue of Mind Raiser magazine, and uh, there is a fascinating interview with Nick Vertigo in here. I'd just like to read you a quote from him here. Um, he goes on to say, um, What are you doing? I'd like him to be here with us. Bitch slash a five is doing perhaps... Doing his voice as well. Bitch slash a five is perhaps... I don't actually know what he sounds like. That was good. Keep going. Bitch slash a five is perhaps... The greatest film of our generation. It was greatly influenced by the um, post-structuralist philosophy of Jacques Derrida, particularly the scenes where the bitch slasher slashes the bitches. Did you know the boobs in that scene actually represent foreign territory seized under neo-colonial foreign policy? The man's a genius. Yes, he does actually go on to say that several times throughout this interview. Um, bitch slasher five, a film that will get your pulse racing and your mind thinking. How many Wilhelm screams are we giving Bitch Slasher 5? We are going to give Bitch Slasher 5 five Wilhelm screams. Definitely a return to form for Nick Vertigo. It was strangely reminiscent of his student classic Narcissus Nut Job. Narcissus Nut Job. No, 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 we can't. Job. Narcissus Nut Job. Narcissus Nut Job. We've only got the trailer. Narcissus Nut Job. Narcissus Nut Job. Narcissus Nut Job. Narcissus Nut Job. Okay, let's do it. I've got to give out a health warning now, though, guys. This film, of which now only the trailer exists, is so shocking, so vicious, that on the opening night it gave six people diabetes. No, don't forget the sweets. Oh yeah, and it's one and only outing at an international film festival. Four bankers from Malmo 
decided to quit their high-powered jobs in finance and become children's entertainers. This film is genuinely dangerous. We don't need any more clowns. Okay, guys, here it is. Narcissus Nutjob, the trailer. Let's do this. You are about to be home. everyone is feeling okay after that. Hey, it's that time of the show where we open our phone lines and talk to our viewers. So if you've got anything you want to tell us about Big Dig, now's your chance to call in and let us know. I think we've got someone on line one right now. Hello, line one, House of Whipcord. Okay. Line two, House of Whipcord. Line three, House of Whipcord. Hello? Who's this? This is Alexander from the House of Whipcord. You're on the telly now. What am I doing there? We're talking about Big Dick, you know, the monster from the Rubicon Woods. All uh, right. Well, I've seen it. Well, where did you see it? In me fucking pants. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay. Line four, House of Whipcord. Hello? Yeah, hi, you're on now. Oh, great. I just called to talk about Nick Vertigo. I think he's a genius. I love your show too, by the way. Oh, great. We're actually right with you on both of those points. Open! 